In this video tutorial, we're going to look at finding value drivers for our income tax rate, the interest rate paid on debt, and our depreciation rate as a percentage of fixed assets. So we're going to start by looking at the income tax rate. So on our income statement, we have our income before tax and we have our income tax expense. We're going to use our income tax expense and our income before tax to figure out what our average tax rate has been over the last few years. So before I do some calculations, I'm going to insert a row by highlighting the row below income tax expense, right-clicking, insert by shifting the cells down. So in any given year, my income tax rate command I to italicize and then sliding it over so I can tell that it's not an actual part of the income statement. So in any given year my income tax rate is going to be equal to the expense, income tax expense, divided by the income before tax. So it comes up as a dollar sign um, but I don't want it as a dollar sign, I want it as a percentage and I want it with two decimal places. And I can just calculate that for each of these years. tax expense divided by income before tax. And then I'd like both of these, all of them, to be a percentage with two decimals. And so they're all pretty darn close to 36%, 36.49, 36.18, and 35.83. I'll just use the average. The average is 36.8. 17% and I'm going to call that my income tax rate and that's the rate I'm going to use when I create performance. Let's see about our interest rate on debt. Well, your company should have an interest rate expense or some interest expense and it also should have long-term debt and the amount of long-term debt it has is going to be found on the balance sheet. So our interest expense, like we've done before, we consider our interest rate to be related to the average balances of debt rather than the balance at the beginning or end of the year because debt's paid off throughout the course of the year. So let's just look at this current year and let's say that our interest rate on debt, it's going to be equal to our expense, right? The interest expense divided by the average debt balance. So it's important here that you click the interest expense divided by and then write the average command right away then put your parentheses and click on the balance sheet. When I go to the balance sheet, I'm going to find my long-term debt and up here, see in the bar, B23 divided by average and then this portion balance sheet which tells us the sheet it wants to be on. If the balance sheet part is before the average, it won't work. So it's my average of my two long-term debts and I'm going to hit return and it's six point three one five percent that's the interest rate that they've been paying let's look at depreciation in the same way let's say that our depreciation is going to be equal to our depreciation expense divided by our average fixed assets our average plant property and equipment however it's expressed for your firm average I'm going to go to the balance sheet then to get the number balance sheet plant property and equipment close out those parentheses and there we go so in this tutorial I got my income tax rate that I'm going to use as a value driver my interest rate on debt that I'm going to use as a value driver and my percentage of fixed assets that we depreciate each year as a value driver save your file and I'll see you in the next tutorial